Hello, my name is Tommy Myla. I'm from JKI, and today I'm going to talk to you about JKI JSON. JKI JSON is a JSON library that JKI just released, open source, and that's available on VI Package Manager. So, to get started, let's see how you can uh, download and install uh, JKI JSON. So, if you go to jki.net uh, and click the tools link on the top, uh, here are the list of uh, JKI's open source tools. Just click the Get Library, uh, and you end up on the JK JSON uh, GitHub page. On this page, you can find documentation on how to use the JK JSON library. Uh, if you click the installation section link, Get JK JSON, uh, you end up on the VI Package Manager page. And if you are signed up and logged in, it doesn't cost anything to sign up. Uh, you can just click the install button and uh, use VI Package Manager uh, on, on your Windows to install JKJS. Once you have JKJSON installed, you can find the JKJSON uh, library VIs under JKI Tools and JSON Serialization. So just navigate in your functions palette to JKI tools and underneath that JSON serialization. And in the palette you have two items, the flatten to JSON string and unflatten from JSON string uh, that are the most likely VS that you're going to use, uh, the basic VS. So let's see how the flatten to JSON string works. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to create a simple cluster, and we need some content for the cluster, so let's drop a string there. Uh, you need labels, uh, so because JSON objects have labels, uh, so I'm going to call this my string, and let's change all the sizing to be size vertically, uh, and then let's maybe add a number here and call this my number and I'm going to drop it back uh, to the, uh, into the cluster as well. So if I'm going to now use the JKI JSON uh, to serialize this into a string, I can just run this and JKI JSON will create me a JSON object uh, that corresponds to LabVIEW data that I just passed in. So now you can use this to save uh, save the string into a file or you can pass it over the network to some web service or, or something. So this is pr pretty much how easy it is to actually use JKJSON. And let's assume that we have a string and we want to now unflatten the string into some LabVIEW data. Uh, what you're going to need is this unflatten from JSON string. Uh, you pass it some JSON string. I'm just going to pass the same string that I just created. And it has this input type uh, and default. So for the type, I'm going to use the same cluster. Uh, but for the default values, I'm just going to use number 0. And maybe this should say I love JKI. So this will create you a variant. And now we still need uh, to convert the variant into into a labview data. So here we go. Let's see what we get if I run this. So as you can see, uh, the JSON string that we generated in the first step is my string is I love JKI and my number is seven, and we have successfully converted back uh, to a uh, LabVIEW data type. So here you see a full end-to-end -end usage of JKI JSON. I didn't go into details of all the specifics of uh, every every detail of JKI JSON, but the very basic usage is is pretty much covered here. So I'm excited about JKI-JSON and JKI-JSON now being an open source library that you can uh, download and install 
freely using VI Package Manager. And hope you like it. If you are interested in other JKI tools, go to jk.net slash tools. And if you are interested in uh, JKI's uh, world-class consulting services on LabVIEW and uh, all the scientific and engineering uh, equipment and instrumentation projects, uh, feel free to contact us at jk.net slash contact and we are more than happy to talk to you about your project. Thank you for watching. Check out the links underneath in the video description for JKI JSON and other JKI tools. Mm -hmm.